hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we'll be talking about player camera if you watched my last video this is exactly where we stopped we stopped here and as you can see when we press play we can remove our player and we can go far we dodge the obstacle we can go far but we can't follow our player because we need a camera a camera is just staying still as you can see here we need a camera to follow our player so before we get ready to give you down to thank you guys for bringing me tonight five subscribers i'm so happy guys thank you very much and we still need to push 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 let's get to the 100 and also make sure to like and subscribe before we move into the video so that you can get more content so let's get right into the video um you're going to need your internet connection for this particular video for this particular tutorial so make sure your internet is connected as mine is and what we're going to do to make our camera follow our player is very easy all we're going to do is make sure you have internet connected then we're going to go to the window then we're going to click play and package manager so when you click on package manager you're going to go to and when it's done it's going to be fetching packages so make sure you make sure your internet is ready and it's working so it will be loading it's still loading it's still loading okay when it's done loading you're going to click packages and make sure you're on unity registry so when you click unity registry you scroll down and look for cine machine or cta so you click cine machine then go to your right and install so you install cine machine is a built-in camera tool for unity yeah it's it gives more effects to your camera so if you're looking for how to make games that have good scenes and plenty um we'll go into that later <laughs> so when it's downloading you're going to cancel the package manager cancel so once you cancel you're going to see that when you go up to your when you go up to the features on your unity you'll be seeing the cine machine here and if you're not seeing it then you have to go to window package manager then do the step all over again when you go back to the video when you yeah so but well, if you've done this and it's, it's done you should see cine machine here so when you see this you're going to click create virtual camera create virtual camera so we create and the camera comes up and when the camera comes up we carry it up close to the camera so that we, so that we can know what we are doing just carry it up there and just make it close there so we're going to go to the um, virtual camera make sure you you press virtual camera yeah so cm cine machine virtual cam one that's virtual camera so when we click the virtual camera we're going to go to our transposer then change our transposer uh i think we should actually leave it on transposer yeah because we need to follow our player it, it all depends on this thing it all depends on how you want it to be so just make sure you change come to your body of the virtual camera leave all these other settings they're not they're not necessary now just come to body don't touch any other thing just make sure you're on transposer then go to aim make sure you're on composer normally it'll be like this so make sure you come to body and enter transposer come to aim and enter composer and don't do any other thing then if you go here you see this property that says follow it's looking for what to follow what should we follow so it's empty now so we're going to go to our player drag our player into the follow and as you can see things are changing in the game and then look at look at what well, we want to look at our player and also follow the player so drag our player to the look at so now as you can see it's behind the player now we can see the player on the game view see the camera here we can see the player it's following the player from behind so now the next thing we're going to do is to add the offsets offsets like um how far we want it to be behind the player if we want it to be uh say close to the player or far back yeah so that's what we're going to do in the settings go to your body go to the transposer make sure it's on transposer and when it's on transposer you're going to have to change don't do anything to the x because the x is the x axis we want it to be a zero so okay let it be zero then we're going to change our y to 3.3 3.3 so it's to give us that plan view that view from above a little bit and then we're going to change z to minus 15. okay that's that's far that's cool that's okay then what we're going to change next is our composer 
make sure our composer on our aim is on zero zero yeah and then we're going to increase our soft zone to 0 0.8 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 and that's all we're going to but that's what we're, we're going to be doing sorry that was not there i was just messing with the project that was not there i'm very sure um this was not there before so this how the game was last video so yeah so um on our virtual camera make sure follow is following the player drag your player and drop it in look at look at is looking at your player drag your player drop it in on our transposer make sure x is on zero and y is on 3.3 .3 and z is on minus 15 for the transposer lock targets with world up lock targets with what oh sorry world space change this to world space change this to world space change x to zero change y to 3.3 .3. change z to minus 15 then our composer make sure everything is zero and then your soft zone width is 0 0.8 your soft zone height is 0 0.8 just copy all these settings guys so this will be easy for you guys then when you're done with this we're going to increase our damping we're going to reduce the z damping the z damping the damping from this damping means like um that kind of slow motion like if we move to the left let's just shift the camera to the left slowly we don't want that we want it to be sharp sharp so that you can be seeing your movement left and right clearly so our z damping will be zero y damping will be zero or x damping will be 0 0.4 and that's all to follow our player so now if we keep play we can see that yeah we're following the player the camera is following the player as you can see in the scene view the camera is following the player and as we're moving forward now we're falling if i click play again you're going to see that the ball is going to hit the ball is going to hit the cube yeah the ball hit the cube now if you're worrying about these lines here yeah, and just go to your virtual camera as i told you click your virtual camera come to game window guides and uncheck it and you're done my you might be thinking okay this thing is too far like the camera is too far from our player so you want to make it closer you can change minus 15 to minus 6 yes then reduce our y to 2 okay you can change this to minus 4 instead so it to be closer it is all depends on the try just mess with the values make sure you're playing with the values guys that's the best way to learn so okay minus 5 and 1 it's okay for me make sure you're touching the transposer and transposer is on world space don't do anything with the composer you might as well close it so if we click play yeah this is a nice view guys this is a nice view the camera is following us because you can see the scene view is following us it's following us let's do this one more time it's following us it's following us thanks guys yeah that's that's all for this you might want to reduce this to 0 0.2 because it's a little bit laggy the x like uh okay it's okay now okay guys that's all for the camera for the player camera yes so be able to like and subscribe also share with your friends and also ask questions down in the comments if you have any questions to ask thank you guys and see you guys later let's let's try this again i like messing with the values minus 15 i like seeing it from afar these are the games going to be though uh this is cool and if you guys are wondering why is my own background white oh what i did was i went to the main camera and it was on skybox before so i changed this color background color to white then i changed skybox to solid color so now the solid color now made the background white you can also change this to red or blue or any color that you wish but i wanted it to be white yes and also uh for the fog that one is going to be in another video because as you can see when we play there's a fog in front yeah there's a fog in front so thanks guys that's the end of the video thank you for subscribing thank you for the 95 subscribers more guys more guys and i'll be giving more videos too so see you later see you in the next video thanks guys later